going to look at two brothers named Isaac and Ishmael. Go to Genesis chapter 21. Genesis chapter 21. I'll, I'm going to say some things that are going to make me sound crazy like I don't know my history. But just, just hold on to your hats. It's all going to make sense here in a little bit. And the child grew and was weaned, and Abraham made a great feast the same day that Isaac was weaned. And Sarah saw the son of Hagar, the Egyptian, which she had borne unto Abraham, mocking. And if you, just a little history on this, God promised Abraham that he was going to have a son. He promised him. He promised him he was going to have a son by his wife, Sarah. Well, Sarah was too old to have children. And so Abraham thought he needs to help God out. And he went and he had a child by Sarah's handmaid, Hagar. Well, that was not what God had promised Abraham. God had promised him a son through Sarah. And so we have Ishmael that was born. And 13 or 14 years later, Isaac is born from Sarah, a miracle. I mean, at 90 years old, Sarah gives birth to Isaac. A miracle, folks. I mean, a supernatural act of God. Sarah having this child, Isaac. And so Isaac is now weaned. And here in the story, we see Ishmael, he's mocking Isaac. What that meant, I don't know exactly, but he's, he's bothering. We see, we're going to see later in the New Testament, you know, it, it, he's, he's persecuting them, okay? Wherefore, in verse 10, Wherefore she said unto Abraham, Cast out this bondwoman and her son. For the son of this bondwoman shall not be heir with my son, even with Isaac, and the thing was very grievous in Abraham's sight because of his son. And God said unto Abraham, Let it not be grievous in thy sight because of the lad and because of thy bondwoman. In all that Sarah has said unto thee, hearken unto her voice. For in Isaac shall thy seed be called. In Isaac shall thy seed be called. Isaac was the promised seed, not Ishmael. Ishmael was not what God had promised. Isaac is what God had promised. And so they did, they, they sent her off. Now in this story, we've got two brothers again, all right, two sons, Ishmael, son of Abraham, Isaac, the son of Abraham, Ishmael, older than Isaac, Ishmael persecuting Isaac. And right there, that is a picture of, in the New Testament time, the Jews persecuted the Christians, didn't they? After uh, Christianity started, there was a lot of persecution um, from the Jews that they got. And in this story, Ishmael, this is where I'm going to sound crazy, Ishmael represents the Jews, the natural seed of Abraham, and Isaac represents the Christians, the spiritual seed of Abraham. Now, Ishmael represents the Jews, because we all know Ishmael is where the Muslims come from, right? Okay, and, I, and Isaac's where all the Jews come from, right? But Ishmael in this story represents the Jews, the natural seed of Abraham. Isaac represents the Christians, the spiritual seed of Abraham. And I know that sounds crazy, but now we're going to clear it up. Go to Galatians chapter 4. Galatians chapter 4 and verse 21. I didn't read that story and come up with that idea. I read... Galatians chapter 4 and came and came up with I, I never would have came up with that I'd have never thought of Ishmael representing the Jews the natural seed of Abraham but at Galatians chapter 4 verse 21 tell me ye that desire to be under the law do ye not hear the law don't you understand what the law says for it is written that Abraham had two sons the one by a bondmaid and the other by a free woman but he who was of the bondwoman was born after the flesh. You know there was nothing miraculous about the birth of Ishmael? There was nothing miraculous about that. It makes perfect sense. He was born after the flesh. But he of the free woman, talking about Sarah, was by promise. Okay, Isaac was born because of the promise of God that God gave Abraham. It was a miracle of God that Isaac was born. Which things are an allegory, for these are the two covenants. The one from Mount Sinai, that Old Testament. It was Mount Sinai where God gave Moses the law, where he gave him the Ten Commandments, that Old Testament. 
Okay, and then you got Isaac, the New Testament, the better testament that we looked at. So you got Mount Sinai, which gendereth to bondage, which is Agar, or Hagar, in the, as it's spelled in the Old Testament. For this Agar is Mount Sinai in Arabia, and answereth to Jerusalem, which now is and is in bondage with her children. During Paul's time, Jerusalem remained in bondage, didn't they? Why? Because they, they didn't accept Jesus Christ. They were still trying to keep the law. And he mentioned, you that desire to be under the law, he tried to teach him, if you want to be under the law, understand that's fine, but you have to keep every bit of it, and that's impossible. And so he, uh, he goes on here, but Jerusalem, which is above, okay, Jerusalem from above, the heavenly Jerusalem, the spiritual Jerusalem, but Jerusalem, which is above, is free, which is the mother of us all. For it is re written, Rejoice, thou barren that bearest not. Break forth and cry, thou that travailest not. For the desolate hath many more children than she which hath an husband. Now we, brethren, as Isaac was, are the children of promise. Did you see that? We, as Isaac... We're that children of promise. Who, the Galatians, okay? Not, not the Jewish people, the Christians, the believers. Verse 29, but as then he that was born after the flesh persecuted him, talking about Ishmael persecuting Isaac, that was born after the spirit, even so is it now. Those who are born of the flesh were attacking those who were born of the Spirit. The older brother, jealous of the younger brother. Ishmael, the older brother, jealous because they're having a big celebration for Isaac. And he's jealous because, you know, Isaac did tend to be, seem to be the favored one with Abraham. And sure enough, after Jesus Christ came and God started moving amongst the Gentiles and saving the Gentiles, the Jews, the older brothers, they hated the younger brothers, and they persecuted the believers, just like Ishmael and Isaac did. 